In this lesson, we're going to be looking at 523J, which is to represent division of a unit fraction and a whole number using objects and models. A unit fraction is a fraction that has a 1 in the numerator and any number in the denominator. It can be 1 over 4, 1 over 6, 1 over 7, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? So we're going to be using, you're going to be dividing a unit fraction by a whole number and a whole number by a unit fraction, okay? We're going back and forth. We're going to be looking at it in this lesson using models. Before we start, let's start off with just some basic uh, review on dividing, just to kind of prep us for what we're going to see with fractions. So I'm going to start off with an easy one, 6 divided by 2. We all should know the answer, but that's not the point. The point is, what are we seeing in our head? So when I think of 6 divided by 2, I think of I have 6, and I'm going to separate it into groups of 2 or separate it by 2. It just depends on the question. And that's what's so important when dividing with fractions. You really have to understand and identify what do you have. Do you have a whole or do you have a fraction? Because if I were to flip these, I would get the wrong answer. Okay? It's not like multiplication where I can flip them back and forth and I'm going to get the same answer. I will get the wrong answer if I don't put the correct number in the dividend. So in this situation, I have 6, so I'm just going to draw 6. And I'm going to separate it into two groups, or I'm going to split it up into groups of two. It just depends on the question. For this example, let's do it this way. Okay? So now I see that my answer is three. Okay? So before I begin, let me uh, re uh, emphasize that you really have to understand what, they're, what you have. Okay? What you have to ask yourself and answer the question, what do you have? Because that's going to represent your dividend. Okay? Because that's what I'm dividing from. Six. Very, very important. Let's start off with the first example. Our first example is two divided by three. So just like in multiplication, there are words associated or that can go with this. These words will help you paint a mental image. Okay? So the words that I'm thinking are two separated into one-third or even better into thirds so two divided by one-third two separated into thirds so an example of a type of question would be Johnny has two pizzas he wants to split them up into thirds how many slices will he have okay well now I can kind of, I can start seeing that my answer is going to be bigger than two, which is shocking sometimes because we've been told so many so much in our in uh, in dividing that our answer is always smaller. Well, you have to you have to really see it to understand this. Okay, so the first example I'm going to draw out is I'm going to draw out my fraction strips or my fra my my fraction bars. So I have two. I'm separating it into thirds. That's what I want to show. So let me show two first. See, I have one here, one here. So one, two. Now I need to take the two, whatever it is in this situation, let's pretend it's uh, whatever. It can be pizza, it can be sandwiches, whatever you want it to be, candy, but I'm going to separate it into thirds. So I need to split it into three. So I have a third here, 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 and a third here. So the question is, how many thirds do you have? Well, I have six. I have six thirds in this example. Okay? Six thirds after I've divided two, divided by one third. I took two, I separated into thirds. Another way you might see it is a number line. So in the number line, on the number line, you have to go from 0 to 2 because that's what you have. And I'm going to separate that into thirds. So I need to make sure that I, I am representing or I'm showing thirds. So I need to find three pieces within each hole. Okay. So I have a third there, two, three, four, five, six. So again, my answer is six. I have a third all the way across. <clears throat> I know it's kind of hard to see because it's all jammed in there, but 
It's a one third, one third, one third, one third, six times to give me the answer of six. Okay? So this is the model. This is what your brain should be seeing in, in getting uh, seen when when you see two divided by three or a whole number divided by a unit fraction. Another another pattern that I've seen that students start to see is whenever you have a whole number divided by a unit fraction, you always get a whole number. That's just or excuse me, that's not the answer. You always get a whole number. Um, that's the pattern that they see. Okay? So one third well, two divided by one third gave them six. Now let me show you the trick because in my opinion this is understanding the next part I'm going to show you is more of the trick to solve so the trick goes with KFC we've all been to KFC right Kentucky Fried Chicken so not in this situation it stands for keep flip change okay KFC so let me show you what it looks like I have 2 divided by 1 third I have to keep the first number, but we all know, we should know, remember, that this, ev under every whole number, there's a, there's a one. So keep the first fraction, even if it's an improper fraction, but keep the first fat fraction, flip the second fraction, so that means just reverse it, three on top, one on the bottom, and change the operation to the opposite operation of division, which is multiplication. Multiply cross, six, Multiply cross 1, divide that, but you should know anything over 1 is the same number, 6. We got the same answer all the way across. Okay? Let me show you another example. So that's example 1 with a whole number first. The second example is the fraction first. Okay? So same idea. What do I have? What does this sound like? What is it so, to help me see what it looks like? Okay? To, so I can imagine it. So I need to know it in words. What one fourth divided by five is in words is one fourth separated into five. So I have one fourth and I'm separating it into five. Okay? Like I said in the beginning on the first example, the very first one, six divided by two, it's important for you to identify what you have. If this was what you're trying to solve, then your question is going to read something like, Daniel had one-fourth of his pizza. He wants to share that with his five friends. How much of the pizza will each friend get? Well, your answer can't be bigger than one-fourth. It can't. Because if that's what you have, your answer must be smaller than one-fourth. It has to be. You can't make more than one-fourth. So if I remember a fraction in order to make it smaller, my numerate, my denominator has to get bigger. So let's let's see if that that uh, thought process is correct. So let me show what I have first. I have one fourth. Let me show it. So here it is. This is what I have. So maybe it's a pizza, maybe it's a sandwich, whatever it is. That's what I have. I need to take that piece and separate it into five. I could go down this way. But if you remember anything about fractions, whatever I do to one side, one piece, I have to do to all. I can't just do it to one piece. Okay? So instead of going this way, it's easier if you go across. Because you get it done in one, one, one line. So that should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So I've taken my one-fourth. I'm going to cover this up. I've taken my one-fourth and I've split it into five. This is where it gets a little tricky when you're doing a fraction first. You have to remember your answer is going to represent something smaller than one-fourth. So it represents this little piece. Well, what is that little piece? It's one, but it's not one out of four or one out of five. That wouldn't make sense. Okay? It's one out of the entire piece. Okay, entire piece. So it's 1 out of 20. If I were to count them all up, I would have 20 pieces. So this is probably the harder one of them because you have to remember that it's one piece out of the whole thing. Okay, you have to count the whole thing. But you can also still remember if I have 1 fourth, 
I'm splitting, splitting it into five. My fraction has to be smaller than one fourth and one twentieth is smaller than one fourth. Okay, so let's do it KFC way. This would probably be the fast, this is the fastest way to solve. So if you don't have to do the model, you don't have to use it, uh, don't. Um, I'd probably recommend solving it KFC. But you should know how to do it because you have to, I want you to understand what you're doing, not just a trick. Okay, so in KFC, I have 1 fourth divided by 5. So I have, I'm going to keep the first fraction, flip the second one, so 5 over 1. I'm going to go 1 over 5 and change the operation. So multiply across 1, multiply across 20. We get the same answer. I hope this helps.